It's a very narrow perception of what should be in somebody's diet. Let's watch what actor Mark Wahlberg eats in a day with men's health. The amount of you that tagged me in this, I am eternally grateful. This morning I had five eggs. I had two hard boiled eggs and three scrambled eggs. Crikey dick, he had five eggs? Two hard boiled eggs and three scrambled eggs? Bloody hell, Mark. Pork chop, which is a little bit of salt and pepper on it. I had uh, wild smoked salmon, some Greek yogurt and berries. And then I had uh, green juice. Straight out the gate, what do we think Mark's concerned about here? Protein. <laughs> and what I find interesting is that men's health have actually got like how much protein is in his diet, like along the bottom, saying that the five eggs have got 30 grams of protein, which is fine. It's a very narrow perception of, of what should be in somebody's diet and it's, unsurprisingly very protein focused. Five eggs, pork chop, wild smoked salmon, berries, yogurt, and a green juice. I mean, at least he's eating in the morning. <laughs> We are getting carbs, fat, and protein. If it was me, would potentially swap out some eggs and pork chop and green juice for just a slice of toast. Word to men's health along the bottom with that caption, disease fighting antioxidants in it. Okay, maybe we could just work on our language a little bit there. That was at eight o'clock in the morning. At 11 o'clock, I had chicken breast, chicken thigh, sweet potato, broccoli, a bowl of fruit, blueberry, blackberry, raspberry, strawberry, and then I had a handful of pistachios and I had a handful of almonds. We saw a lot of chicken, carbs, fat, and protein. Blessed day. He got a little bit of fruit in there too. It's a privilege to be able to eat this way. I feel like we know that kind of giving off bodybuilder vibes in a way. You know what I'm not noticing so far is any like white carbs, which whilst he's not verbally demonizing them, the omittance, it's speaking volumes. And then I just had at uh, two o'clock, I had uh, salmon sashimi, crab salad with a little cucumber and a couple pieces of chicken breast. And tonight I'll have a nice steak, some sea bass or halibut, something and a vegetable. And a vegetable. <laughs> I really hope so, because Mark, I'm worried about your fiber intake. Had time doing a very high protein, high fat diet, and subsequently felt the effects of not having so much fiber in their diet, you might want to just check your fiber content. I can tell you that from personal experience. I just try to eat as clean as possible. Oh, Mark. I was cool with this high protein way of life. If you want to be having pork chops and five eggs in the morning and then some chicken breast and chicken thigh and whatever you're having, you're privileged enough to be able to afford to have all of this food all of the time. You do you. But don't be referring to food as clean because what you're doing is you're implying that this is a clean way of eating and anything outside of this is a dirty way of eating, which as we have talked about many times, but Mark could probably do with the memo, there is no such thing as clean food and there's no such thing as dirty food because labeling food in this way is creating shame, it's creating stigma around food and that is not a healthy way to view food. Just one for you, Mark Wahlberg. And I do want to, let's have a little disclaimer here. If I explain my schedule or my eating habit, let's not let your imagination run wild. And last time I did this, it got out of hand and people thought I took an hour and a half long shower. Mark, I don't think that's what's getting out of hand here. People being concerned that you're having an hour and a half shower. So somewhat unsurprisingly, we saw Mark have a lot of protein here. We also saw quite a bit of fat. Credit where credit's due, Mark Wahlberg did have some carbs. We saw the sweet potato, we saw the fruits. With some celebrities, they've really rammed down our throats this idea of intermittent fasting or eating as little as possible. We're not seeing that with Mark. He didn't talk about cheat meals. Is that as positive as I can be here? Anything else? However, when we start to label foods as clean, we start to label foods as dirty, that's when I really do have a problem with these because like I said, that creates shame around food, that creates stigma around food, which does a lot more damage than food can do. On the one hand, I, I think with these videos, if that's how somebody wants to eat, that's cool. You can afford to eat this way, have somebody potentially prepare this for you. I personally can't afford to be having five eggs, pork chops, two types of chicken at lunch, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Also, I don't think I'd really want that. In addition, like always with these what I eat in a day, because Mark has a following, he benefits from thin privilege, he has this kind of masculinity around him that maybe people aspire to be like. Mm. And he's somewhat aspirational in that regard. These kinds of what I eat in a day can also, consciously or not, make people think, oh, if I eat like Mark Wahlberg, I'll look like Mark Wahlberg, or I'll have this lifestyle, physique, etc. And that's not how this works. We'd still all look incredible incredibly different because that's the wonderful thing about body diversity. We wouldn't all look the same even if we had the same lifestyle as Mark. So if that's how Mark wants to eat, that's cool. You do you, Mark. I personally just like toast. <laughs>
but creating a narrative around the types of food we're eating, A, I don't love, and B, these what I eat in a days can, I believe, potentially do a lot more damage than good.